hello friends welcome back to the channel hope you are doing well today's video topic is how to upgrade your windows 10 to windows 11 without losing any data without losing any software so there are two methods to upgrade your system to windows 11 the first method is you can easily uh, upgrade your windows 11 with the help of windows update so for this click on your windows icon then click on this settings option then click on update and security now here you can see uh, windows 11 is available for this laptop so if your laptop is eligible for windows 11 you will see this option here windows 11 and you can easily download and install your windows 11 on your laptop this is a very easy step or very easy method to upgrade your system to windows 11 and in this process all your data all your software all your files will remain safe there will be no data loss or there will be no software loss in this process if you do not see this option to upgrade your laptop to windows 11 click on this option check for updates and if your laptop is eligible for windows 11 you can easily upgrade your laptop to windows 11 or you can simply click on this option view optional updates and here you can see uh, you will see this option here as well tick this option and then click on download and install and this will upgrade your uh, laptop to windows 11 very easily now move on to our next method if you are unable to upgrade or you are not able to see this option to upgrade your laptop to windows 11 in that case you have to download windows 11 iso image from microsoft website and you have to manually upgrade your windows 10 to windows 11 I will show you how to do it open your browser and type windows 11 then click on enter now click on the microsoft official page now scroll down and here you will see this option download windows 11 disk image iso for 64 bit so one important thing that windows 11 is only available for 64 bit only 64 bit device only so after that click on drop down button select windows 11 then click on download now now select your language then click on confirm then click on this option 64 bit download so as you can see download process has been started and the file size is 6.3 GB so you have to download uh, Windows 11 image first so this is the image I have this is Windows 11 ISO image now after uh, downloading the image of Windows 11 you have to extract this ISO image so for this right click on the image I am using 7-zip software so this is a zip software you can use any uh, zip software or WinRAR software to extract uh, this image click on this option extract so the process has been started or uh, this is a folder so it will take some time so I will fast forward this video but if you don't have any uh, uh, zip software you can uh, download and install 7-zip it's a free software so the process has been done now so this is my windows 11 folder as you can see now if you want to delete this iso image you can delete it it's up to you i will delete it now this is the folder windows 11 so open this folder now right click on this setup option right click on this then click on run as administrator now wait for a few seconds now you will see this window install windows 11 first click on this option change how setup downloads updates so there are two options uh, you can uh, download windows updates drivers and optional features as well if you tick this option or you can do it later by clicking on this option now uh, not right now so i will go for this option not right now because it will take some less time to upgrade my windows 10 to windows 11 and after that i will uh, upgrade or update my windows 11 then click on next now click on accept 
now after waiting for a few minutes you will see this window ready to install install windows 11 and this is the important option keep personal files and app make sure this option is selected keep personal files and app if you select this option all your data all your uh, files in your desktop or in your other partition will remain safe there will be no data loss at all in this process but if you see some other option you can change it by clicking on this option change what to keep so there are three options keep personal files and app keep personal files and only or nothing so go for the first one keep personal files and app then click on next that's it now click on install and this process will take around half an hour to complete and in this process there will be no data loss there will be no software loss at all so these are the two methods you can apply to upgrade your windows 10 to windows 11 this is all for the video thank you